Okay, here we are guys, then we've uh, got to file those later eventually. I have to uh, swap in my uh, sat nav. We call it the Russian roulette one because you put a postcode and it spins it around and takes you anywhere. But we've got to file those. Quite a, quite a foggy day today. But um, been in the shop, had a word with the guys. Told us where to have a look for fish and there's uh, there's cod already here. Checking some of the swims out. Looking, for, It's quite hard to look for them today with the with a fog down and a mist but um, you never know, Cole's been having a wander around uh, see what he can see um, what I'm going to do guys is let Cole get to his business now we'll catch up with Cole later get a chat with him and uh, I'll find a few <laughs> going to get a few for us yeah, definitely see you in a bit guys alright guys, we're just thinking about getting it set up now um, we're luckily the head bay of egg has come along giving us a few tips and pointers of uh, where to fish and, and what's going on. I mean, the sounds of it, there's been a lot of work going on around the lake just lately. And the size of it, yeah, there's a, there's a lot going into it here. It's looking really good. This mist coming down, it's good old wintry carping. Um, we've, we've come along, we've, we've got a, a swim down there, which I'll show you later. Uh, and uh, there's a little back bay here, or Eggie's uh, pointing out a few spots. So we're gonna um, probably think about pre-baiting an area too and uh, hopefully the daytime then come along with a rod and, uh, and nick one off the spot but uh, good old uh, Eggy, she's going to show us the way, what's going on lovely in there, look that is, that is Corp City in there, look at it in there man. Oh, getting all excited. Let's go around to this room over here and obviously in the back of him. Cold Cole will be able to double this up with his, the swim he's using as well. Look at that how it looks out there. Let's swim around there, another little spot. I think we need 14 rods now. <laughs> everywhere you go the thing about this lake what i'm seeing so far is every swim you go to there's always there's always points to fish at there's always a snag a bush it's always an area and that sort of determines each swim's area as well well thought out lake and how it's all been set out I'll show you a bit more of it down here right i'm going to disappear and listen to all the tactics what eggy's telling cole so i can uh, get on the fish as well as him <laughs> hopefully catch you later Cole this morning, sneaking off to have uh, put some pre-baiting in down one of the swims. Don't blame him either. There we go, sneaking back off again, the hidden camera. Go and have a chat with him later mate. Alright guys, we've had our bacon sandwiches now, we've had a fill of tea and coffee. Um, Mist is all gone and everything like that now. Pretty Boy's been down there sorting some uh, little stalking swims out for later on. And we'll go and have a chat with him now and see what his tactics are going to be for the rest of the day. Oh, then let's go over here guys. Morning mate. Made them, right? Yeah, how's it go last night? Uh, very quiet like last night to be fair. Like I say, it was very foggy. Uh, so I didn't see anything because obviously the fog, but yeah, again, we didn't hear anything either. Um, this morning I've had a little walk right here. Uh, seen a couple of fish, so I've took a little bit of baiting, just getting the ones ready now. And then Shane will pop down there and hopefully try and win the one out during the day. So a little bit of stalking approach today, keep it mobile. So. That's right, yeah. And you've seen one down there, haven't you? Yeah, I've seen one. You know, Darcy, so I see a couple one down there, definitely, possibly another one. So, so I took a bit of baiting, got up the tree, had a little look. I was able to get the rods ready, go back down, see if I can see, and if I do, just literally flip the rods out, a bit more bait. So, hopefully, we can go and nail one. <laughs> That's the way, mate. Yeah. Right, here we go. What, it's a pity we had the camera down there when he was up the tree earlier because he's scared of heights and he nearly fell down. But hopefully, we'll catch one of them going on later. I'm going to do that, I'm going to clear off, I'm going to get the kettle on for the last time, get the rods in and go um, do a bit of stalking with Pretty Boy.
Well, we'll just have a quick chat with Cold End before uh, I disappear back up there. Uh, see how he's going about his stalking bits, and uh, I'll let him tell you all about it, guys. How's it going, then, Cole? Uh, still a bit of snow, man. I was saying, see a couple earlier. I'll come down here, but uh, got Rob just out the reeds there. Bailey said he saw a few fish here the other day, so giving a go down there. Uh, it's very, well, I haven't seen signs of fishing to be down here really, but still only been down here an hour or so, a couple of hours. Still going to give it a go. So I'm saying it's going to be out there. So sit it out down here and see if I can wing the one out, hopefully, for you. So, trying. <laughs> Everything's against us. Well, we he we was just saying um, a bit earlier on that, uh, you know, trying to get down here to get a fish out in the middle of December, so. Uh, it ain't easy. The bailiff came. One of the bailiffs came down here early again, showing us some video footage out underwater over over the side there, um, and it was swarming, wasn't it? Yeah, it, was, no, it, was, it was. It was mad, and that was only a couple of weeks ago. Four, no, four days ago. Oh, yeah. So if they're there, then they've got to still be here now. The weather hasn't changed a lot. So we've got to hard frost this morning, but water temperature still isn't down a lot. So they should should <laughs> yeah. sort of hopefully have a bite, but a uh, bait or two, but. I say everything's against us at the moment, weather wise, you know, middle of December, we're not exactly come down here to hold, we sort of come down here just to sort of do a bit and hopefully bang the one out while we're here. So that's right. But the um he was also telling us that in the main body of the lake there's been a fair few coming out over the last week, you know, a forty two, a couple of thirties. But uh, it's when you're told by the bailiffs, you know, there's, there's, there's shedfuls of them down here in the reeds. You know, you've got to listen to these guys. They might go in the main body, some of the fish, but if he says the main bulk are here, then, uh, then that's, that's mainly what we're going yeah, on, isn't like it? Yeah, like you say, yeah. in there, we've first time we've ever come down on the water. First of all, semi totally yesterday, it's foggy, couldn't see the lake, couldn't sort of find the fish, so let's go what the bailiff said. And they go by the bailiff, he's here all the time, 24 hours. So generally knows where the fish are. So I was out in the main body there was a pit all in them swims. So we sort of come around here, fancy it around here. I was saying during the day sort of concentrating down in the reeds and in the evenings back in the swim up there. So I was saying we're, we're trying, trying hard. Keep going. There was a couple of guys turned up like late last night, weren't they? Yeah. Knocking away, banging the pegs in and that lot. But it's surprising they was packing up this morning. Yeah. But, oh, they're keen, but uh, you know, you have to do it to catch a winter carp. So. Uh, I'm going to clear off, get the kettle on and leave Cole to it and um, we, uh, we'll get the video back on later on, have a chat about what's going on and uh, and about the lake really. We're going to try and catch the bailiff later on, uh, the, the head bailiff here and, and, and you know give you a lot of bit of information about the lake, what's been going on around the lake and uh, everything else. So that should be good because the place is changing big time and uh, for the better from what we can see. Yeah, it's a bit like the bailiff's very enthusiastic about the place. New owners come on board, they're putting the time, effort and money behind the place. So, although it's all this stunning fishery, it's going to have a lot more facilities. Like I say, the bailiff will explain the facilities coming on the board later. Um, like I say, it's, it's come down here, it's got a shower block, toilet block, everything coming in. So, it's make you a lot more comfortable when you're fishing, which is nice to have. And you've, you know, always got all brand new spanking new. Like I say, really come day to board, it's nice to have toilets, facilities, it's going to be a calf. But, you know, it's just everything will be you want. As soon as you get here, you know, you've got your food. And I was saying, plenty of good fishing. Yeah, quite, and, and more to stop, but wait a minute, we'll, uh, we'll let him tell you all about that in a bit. Uh, I'm going to get the kettle on. So, catch you later, guys. I've just got to show you this, guys. It could happen to anyone, look. Pretty Sorry. boys now. His <laughs> <laughs> third attempt of untangling his line. <laughs> he's had his run up the tree, he's, he's in his second knot. Yeah, that's why he ain't catching fish, he's never had a rod in the water. Give <laughs> <laughs> <Get> it up. <laughs> there we go. Well, we've done the session now on uh, the Farlows Lake, and um, what a great session it's been as well. It's more to like get out and see the lake and what's been going on, it's winter time. Um, and, and all the while you, you're fishing out here, you see these guys, Eggy and Co, out there working, doing the business, really putting a lot of effort into the lake. And so I thought definitely before I get away this morning, I'm going to get round here, see uh, Eggy's Ed Bailey on air, who uh, gave us a chat of what to do last night. That's why we blanked, blaming him <laughs> on everything. Okay, and uh, but what 
the infusion coming out of Aggie and what's going on around the lake is great so we've got to get him on film he's been looking forward to it all weekend as well <laughs> and um, so, so there we go I mean you can see the work going on in the background now they just the guys ain't stopping and um, there's a massive future coming for Farlows again isn't there? yeah definitely mate yeah definitely it's been a long time coming but yeah the owners are pump, pumping a lot of money into the lake got a good, good lot of bailiffs on board now so yeah it's definitely going places yeah, over the weekend there was um, a 42 out and a few of that so much. Yeah, there was uh, 30, 30 come out in the week. Uh, not been many anglers on to be fair, but it's doing all right. Yeah, for this time of year, we're putting an introduce, started introducing uh, a feed bait from Mad Baits um, that we're just introducing over the winter to keep the fish ticking along. Yeah. So yeah, it's doing all right. There's, there's not just the main lake to go on, is there? I mean, you've, no. got, uh, you've got other... No, we've got three, we, well, come March uh, 2014, Obviously, as you can see, this is a little junior pond. Um, there's going to be 10 pegs on here just for adults and for the children to come along, we'll catch a few fish. We're going to put a few fish into this. Um, and then you also got Lake 2, which has got an eye on 500 fish in there now. Um, hopefully, come the summer, that'll really kick in and have a good little bit of good sport out of there. There's yeah. some nice 30s in there to go at as well, as well as we've got a new stock in, hopefully in the new year on uh, Lake One. Yeah, you said, because there's plenty of 30s out there in that one anyway, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, on, on a good day, I would say probably about 25 30s at the moment. We hopefully have got 25 plus 30 coming, 30s coming this year. So yeah, the future for Farlows is bright. It's what it's needed for a long, long time. So happy days ahead. Yeah. It's because oh, you mean that you're making this, so you've got to bring your kids down here and do yeah. that fish for them. If you you yeah. know want to just bag a few carp, you, you know you go on your, your lake too. Or if you're after more of a specimen and a bit more of a challenge, yeah, so you've got really everything going that, on down that's there. That's it. As a venue, we've got as I say, lake lake three, lake two, and then the main lake, lake one. We've also come in in the spring. We've got a bar and uh, cafe, and uh, new shower block and toilets is, is just starting now. So going to get rid of the old building that was there with the calf and bar in and have a new calf and that should be hopefully we're going to be doing um, meal deliveries to the swims so yeah things are looking yeah. good for Farlows. Well, pretty just come down here everything's there concentrate yeah. on your fishing and the security around here is excellent yeah new yeah. fencing's yeah. been put in place all the gates are locked every night well I had so, a challenge getting back with my Indian last night didn't I yeah, I had to phone went. through quick hey, <laughs> leave the gate open but we got it now yeah. it's, it's an excellent place and the work what's going on and the enthusiasm of, of you guys I mean you've got you've got guys here working who was uh, out of the bins this morning straight down here doing a day's work on yeah. the lake you've got everybody we're, we're really through. we're really lucky we've got a lot of people on here that give us a hand um, as I said you know that he's awesome he, he, he gets up at two o'clock in the morning and then comes down and gives us a day's work you know you can't put a price on that no, just, no. you know and we're really lucky to have people like that so yeah if you've got people on the lake putting that kind of left in it just makes i mean yeah. we've had a great time on here but fortunately cole forgot his kettle i reckon because he never put that on all weekend <laughs> but uh you know never go anyway i'm going to get off now no, thanks right. a lot for that Thank you very had much. a great session and i hope we'll see you in the summer yeah definitely definitely cheers matey thanks a lot well that's it we're done we're off home now had a great time um good gig with uh pretty boy but uh, unfortunately no fish but the place is, i was really impressed with the place it's all right isn't it yeah really nice it. yeah it's a good place mate to be fair no, so i'll definitely go back again um same for us the weather was against us when we got there really really foggy couldn't find the fish like you normally would went on the bailiff say so unfortunately you know we couldn't couldn't stay one but i say for us we're going down there it's not about us catching fish you know we all want to catch them but it's about the lake i so i'm really like for me i've fished a lot of water and done a lot of time and to me it's one of the most impressive places that like, the bailiffs have got you know so much enthusiasm and like you know they live for the place you know even eggy he lives on the lake you know he's there 24 hours a day and this morning he got up early, he was hammering away, doing the swims, it's, it's really nice, you know, good to see, so. Yeah, it's, it's what you want to make you feel welcome as well, dead secure there, um, plenty of fish in the place, and now like, like you see they've got three lakes, it's going to take a bit of uh, everybody's style of fishing, and happy days mate, turn up there, you know, all different styles, from big fish, 
just to knock a few out in their smaller lake. Yeah, it sounds like two is more like sort of, you know, your sort of is a but lake two will be more for runs. So I say lake lake one we're on. You know, catch one in there. We probably well we'll give a chance. It's <laughs> five hundred fish is not a very but but no, I say you know over the far days yeah, we're on lake one. You know a lot of people go down there. It's puckle. I say it's got everything you want. It's got distance, you know, distance fishing, short range fishing, margins, snags, open water bars. It's just unbelievable. You put a marker out and you find everything you want to fish. You know, for me, it's all going down there and have a little play down there, like a few different swims. It's really, really good. I say the biggest thing edge down there is I think it's finding the fish. You know, it's 27 acres. It's not, it's not a small water. So it's getting down there and trying to find the fish when you can. You know, weather depending. You know, obviously, if you see fish, you're depending on the fishing there. You know. A lot of it is sort of try and get, you know, try and get somewhere close to them. But and, and as next season comes, like you were saying, their calf's going to be open. You're going to have uh, food, well, your food package, so you can get your breakfast and even your meal brought to your swim. So you, you just, it's, it's going to have every, every style for you, opportunity. What a great place it's going to be. Well, yeah, it's got to turn up, take your weight, take your milk for your tea, and your food will all be there. So you can order your food. You know, for me that'd be great. You know, it's all secure on site. You know, everything's locked up at night at six o'clock. So you haven't got to worry about going to get anything, worry to cook anything. You can literally just do it. You know, give them a ring, order it, and job done. Yeah. Really good. What a place, but um, we'll be heading out there again in the summertime sometime, mate. Yeah, sort of yeah, late spring, early summer, we're going to go give it a bash over there, like I say. If you catch fish time, you've done well enough. I think there's a few fish come out of the, you know, while we've been there, but they're in the main bowl. You know, unfortunately, we couldn't get to them because there's all the anglers there, which, you know, is, is fishing. You know, you go fishing, you don't, you know, you, you take stuff from either, and if I go fishing, I'll take something from it. It's not about catching every time, it's about yeah, learning. Yeah, my hooks you got. Yeah. You take that from it. Oh, well, yeah, you took my rig from it, you know. <laughs> but uh, most of it is water and milk and tea and, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's about, that's what it's about. It's not about catching fish all the time, it's about learning to play. You know, for me, day to fishing isn't my sort of, isn't my sort of persona. I like the sort of tar harder target lake so I can go on and spend the time on. You know, you've got 48 hours where I've got a whole year or even longer to fish a lake. You know, it's a lot easier for me, a lot more for myself fishing. You know, 48 hours is all manic, sort of get down there and find the fish, do this, do this, that. You know, yeah, we do it down in the syndicates and club waters, but we know more about it. You know, that's why we've sort of gone out this sort of, you know, last couple of days. So hopefully, you know, you can see a bit more about it so you, you've seen the bailiff you know you can approach him friendly like bloke the other bailiff I spoke to he's really friendly owners are saying that you know they, they want you to catch fish that the bailiff's there to put you on fish you know he tried to put us on fish but unfortunately you know they just, they just moved off and wasn't there but that's fishing unfortunately the same if you caught fishing for you well, no, if you caught every time you went, it, we could catch it, not fishing. So, but it's just this whole speculative thing of cops. You know, days you have to catch, you have to catch, you have to catch. But. Then I'm. We're just getting concentrated on this way because I'm useless at my navigation. Yeah, I was saying, change trying to drive and look at the sat nav <laughs> and talk. So, since we're multitasking. Both, multitasking with men. It doesn't happen, does it? Let's be honest. So. Oh, so I don't, and it's Friday the 13th, so yeah, yeah we're gonna, I think we're gonna call it a day and like I say, we'll see you on the bank again sometime soon and sort of show you another water that hopefully you'd like to go and fish yourself. That's the one. Cheers for that call. No worries mate, it's good to see you. Thank you pal, see you later guys. See you soon.